lottery it's ticket? No, it's not. <laughs> right, yeah. No money. Is your name Richard? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is some ancient history here. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe it's important or maybe not. It could be important if Enterprise Computer stole everything on my drive, but I think they just junked the whole thing. My computer just died. I brought it into it and I said, oh, this is going to be too expensive to fix. What? What? Yeah, they said that the motherboard is shot, and they says it's an old Mac, and he says we could sell you another one. It would cost four or five hundred to fix. So this was many months ago. So I said, well, then just keep it, throw it away. I don't want it anymore. Broke on me, and they did. And they said, well, we can give you the hard drive off of it. And then I forgot all about it. I mean, I didn't have anything on my hard drive anyway that I was ashamed of. Maybe I do, <laughs> and I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you know, maybe, all I was worried about was like, oh, maybe there are passwords. But this is like two years ago, and nothing ever happened. So I, and they're irreparable. You change your passwords every couple months. Enterprise anyways. Computer has been here in, in, in the shoreline It doesn't forever. matter. It doesn't matter. They could hire just the wrong guy for one week. Right, for one. But it's been gone so long, I'm sure it got crashed up or whatever they do with it. I don't know what they do with that they shit. They probably get the gold off it. Right, I saw a thing where these people in India line up the beach. Have you ever seen that? No. no these what? tankers come into India, into some specific beach, and it's full of packets of wrapped up computer bullshit and TVs and VCRs and shit, and they dump them on the beach, and these people come down, blah, 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 what? Like, uh, and they tear it apart, and they can strip off all the silver and gold off the, off the solder and, and the surface oh, yeah. boards. And they collect it all up in bags, and there are guys that are the honcho dudes, and they're like getting, they're making the money, and the people are just getting screwed. Basically, just enough to keep from dying, and that's what, and it's over miles of it. It's an incredible sight. <laughs> Holy shit. In India? In India. Yeah, so we dump our garbage out. there, and they strip it. Well, the electronic stuff. Now, yeah. now, the con now the government has tried to stop that. Our government at some point said, listen, if you're going to recycle this, it's got to be recycled yeah, here. Yeah, just take all the precious and metals and leave them here. Why give them to them? Right, it's just because it's cheaper. It's so much cheaper. Not in the end. <laughs> no, costly. That's gonna. I'll take that. You know, uh, I, you know that, that show, I did, The Amazing Race. Yeah, yeah. I knew a girl who was in it one year with another girl, who, uh, and, and I thought, I don't know if you ever watched the show. I have. Yeah, it's where they send them all over the world. There were two. Right, the world, there yeah. was one year where there were two girls who were professional poker players in Las Vegas. And one was Chinese, and one is my friend's sister, uh, uh, Shiloh Shy Kinney's sister. So I watched the whole season of that, and uh, whatever. But at one point, they're in Thailand, and they're in this, there's like a corner store, and um, instead of they're selling candy, there's VCRs all over the floor, and, you, and, and it was just a store where they were pulling apart and saving stuff. So they said, okay, you have to pick a piece of equipment and take it apart and strip off all the precious metals off of it. That was the challenge, right? So no. These two chicks were there, and they did it, you know, and everybody had to do it, you know, in this crazy that's place. Crazy. And I said, wow, that's really wild. But anyway, the way they lost these two girls, I thought was unfair. They gave them a choice of two challenges. One was to do something like wrestle a grizzly bear, <laughs> and the other one, the other one was to take one of these. The other one was to take one of these carnival things where you hit the. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, yeah, you the go, hammer. Boom, and then it hits the bell, right? Yeah. So I said, no, don't. Seems do like the an bell. easy choice. I go, don't do the bell right because the any guy, <laughs> any guy can get the art going, right? But no, these wrestle girls the were... fucking bear instead. Wrestle the bear instead. <laughs> they lost immediately. <laughs> they couldn't get this thing halfway up because they didn't have the geometry. You gotta be a guy to do that. Is that true or not? I told her, I, I wrote Shiloh, I said, I said, your sister got screwed. They purposely set them up for that for the failure because they probably didn't. Yeah, they, they wanted to. Not only that, but at the time of that challenge, they were way ahead and they were gonna win that day. And it just is like grizzly bear. They had to make it closer. <laughs> grizzly bear or a, or a heavy ass bell. <laughs>
Do you want to fight a lion? Or do you want to lift this thousand pounds? I found that to be enjoyable, fridge? but I don't like shows that you get addicted to like that. Hey, we're doing the fridge throw contest or fight three lions. Up to you. Uh, Either way. Then this one girl, they were in Saudi Arabia. They were in yeah. Saudi Arabia, and they have this thing in Saudi Arabia that looks like the pyramid. And you go up to the top of it, and then there's like a little hole, and it's like the water flowing. And go flying out into a pool after you go down straight, you know, in the dark. These two people, it was a couple, and they were way ahead. And he goes, okay, let's go down this thing. And she said, no, no. She was completely freaked out. And he goes, well, I can't do it. I can't do it. He goes, we're going to win now. We're going to win. He goes, just calm down. Try to mellow out. I think it's not a hole. I don't know <laughs> yeah, what he was yeah. telling her. They lost. She couldn't How far it. was the drop? Oh, no. How high could a pyramid be? Uh, well, some of them are fucking Well, the crazy. ones in Egypt's 483 feet tall. Well, well the one, one in Saudi Arabia, which is part of like a... a, a amusement a park? Of some sort. Yeah, so it's probably a replica. It's probably 500 feet tall. Yeah, something like that. I would assume they probably... You went. go flying into the, uh, into the pool and you don't die. No, of, the, of course know. not. The water. They're not going to send you to your death. Well, they lost because of that because well, they were way ahead. This is a different bunch of people. It's like everyone hits their wall in some weird yeah. way, you know? Yeah. But I yeah. only watched that one season. What's going on, How's guys? How you doing, Cody? Good, how are you? Very well. Good. I almost stopped to check that the other day. Make sure oh, I'm still around. Right. Anything yeah. happened yeah. to me strange? Well, he, no. He made me feel bad. Said I never check on him. Yeah, I heard that comment. You should. You can always check on the old man if uh, if I'm not there, but I'm usually there now. There's always so many freaking cars. I just figured it's like you're having a party all the time. Well, there's a woman that cleans our house, and there's a the woman who's the companion. So there's different people. Yeah, sometimes there's like six, seven cars there all the yeah. time. Yeah, I want people to think there's a lot of people at my house, even though there really isn't. <laughs> I have an extra car with only two drivers, so. But you have more extra vehicles than me. What do you mean? I don't even have a thing to drive. I got yeah, and you got horses. Who the hell needs horses when you got cars? So you must have a lot of people living with you. Some of them are riding horses, and some of them are in cars. I need because more. I drive a car, but I can't get on a horse. Because yeah. I once saw a woman in Prospect Park fly off a horse wearing a bright yellow riding suit, canary yellow. They're riding along, and all of a sudden, brruh, 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 and and the woman goes, wah! And they go, no, you're supposed to go, whoa! And she went, wah! And then the, <laughs> then the horse stopped, and she flew about 40 feet. Meanwhile, I'm like 11 on my bike, and I see her flying past me. And I think, well, big deal. But then I'm thinking, now, she probably died. It was such a big fall. It was like going out of a car. <laughs> but I'm a kid, so I'm thinking, so what? I fall off my bike all the time. And I didn't even stop. And I figured someone will deal with it. And I went past. But I saw that. And I said to myself, at age 11, never. I'm never going to ride on a horse. Never. And I never have. I think you should come ride the horse. No, no, no. No way. <laughs> There's no way. Plus, I'm allergic to horses. <laughs> I get bad asthma attack. I, I used to work with a woman who was always riding her horse, and then she'd come to the work. She'd come to work at the hospital smelling like a fucking horse, and I'd get an asthma attack because of that. You know what I mean? This is my life. So you think it's comedy. I do get paid for this sort of thing, though. <laughs> Just to talk to people. <laughs> oh, probably die. I think she did probably she die. She probably died. Superman when I was a kid, horse. it didn't occur to me that she got hurt even. I just thought, oh, she flew off the horse. So what? Yeah, you... She was a black woman, too. I think it was the first time she ever rode on a horse because she didn't know, whoa. Last I even knew that. I used to watch The Lone Ranger. Every so often, he stopped that fucking horse of his, you know? Yeah. Trigger, right? Trigger, and then there was Tonto, Kimosabe. What happened with you? I have to take a pee, Tonto. Uh, oh. Oh, I need that. Yeah, you should come up, you and the wife, and go on a nice little trail ride. My wife wants to ride, though. Well, there you go. Not me. <laughs> nice romantic trail dress. ride out in the woods. No, I, I'm the, I could be in the wagon in the back, like, 
watching from that I'll do it, but that's about it. You don't do that anymore. You used to take kids on rides, right? On a hay ride or something. Yeah. Wimblers used to when I was Not a kid. Anymore. Oh, no more kids have, to do it. Does Wimblers have parties? Yeah, no. Um, does Wimblers still do that? No. Around the mountain? They don't do that no more? No, not years. You mean up this way? Yeah, just up there. There's maybe. like a field. Yeah, and then they, they have, have like horses. A, yeah, they pull you around the trail they had around. Yeah, no, that's all. Long my, mom used, my mom used to take me when I was a kid. <sighs> I don't know. They, did. they used to decorate the Guilford town better than they do around Christmas. When I moved here, they had ribbons on all the trees. Now it's all yeah. fake. I don't see the Christmas tree. Is it get a different one, or did one fall down yeah, in the storm? They still got it. They replaced it. Oh, they replaced it. Yeah, but it's the in this, but in a different nice, place. Right? They put one Plastic across the street from ribbon. the town hall, and then the one that, that used to be up yeah, there, they Mark? took it I down. Break his stones about that. What's that? Mark, where's Mark? I gotta break his stones. Mark's about in that. San Francisco right now, but do you want me to give him a call? <laughs> I can get you right on the phone. <laughs> Hey, are you on Facebook? It's like, uh-huh, yeah. Because I need to send you. You didn't go to the gig the other night. Uh, no, I was I was going to go to Jersey. An I know. Gig. I will send you uh, Eric Narwhal you a... doing an eight-minute version of Suspicious Minds by Elvis Presley. No, I love that, that song. Was, oh, well, this is, this is, he owns that song now. That's and a great even, song. He even comes up to me and, ch- and name checks me uh, while he's doing the song. So I should send it send to you. Send that to me, yeah. You can watch it. Absolutely. It was Actually, I've been trying to get a video of him that captured Eric Narwhal, wow. who doesn't stand still, and he's going all around the years of cordless mic. That's he's cool. a unique character. And when I said, okay, he's going to do Suspicious okay, Minds, which is my favorite tune of I love that song. Yeah. And he does it. He mixes, starts it off with an ACDC. His uh-huh. guitar player does two heavy chords because it starts off with the two similar chords to an yeah. ACDC song. And he plays keyboards like Jerry Lee Lewis on acid, Eric. And then he uh, he comes out, you know, and well, first he starts with... Oh, he starts this whole thing, and it's amazing. And then he comes up to me, and he goes, I saw my old friend. <laughs> hey, Richard! Yeah. And he's, he had, like, I had my camera completely, his no eyes. No shit, you yeah, found it? Yeah, it was great. I, you sh- I could show it to you right now. You want to see yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Do you have eight minutes? I have eight minutes. Oh, man. It's a shame we don't have Bluetooth. Or do he we? He does. He's got Bluetooth. He's got the speaker. You want to listen to it? Yeah, it's excellent yeah, yeah. sound. Set it up for me, and I'll, it's just eight minutes. It's on the-